Welcome. Today, I got my glasses, my Steve Jobs turtleneck, because we're talking business. Through my resume, companies like Microsoft, Amazon, and Google all reached out to me to schedule interviews. Today, I'm going to show you how you can easily compile your own resume that will allow you to open these doors. My name is Jackie, and I create content on productivity, lifestyle, and tech career advice. If you're interested in more content, please subscribe to my channel. Let's go ahead and get started. So typically at the top of your resume, you have your name. Make sure your name is really large and visible. Don't forget to include your contact information like your address, your email address, and a phone number so that way a recruiter can reach out to you after seeing your resume. I personally also put a link to a website that I created which showcased additional work. If you don't have a website, you can also link your GitHub username. After the initial section of basic contact information, then I've noticed that most college students and new grads include their education as the next section. Under education, you typically include your university, your current major and minor, as well as your GPA. If your GPA is below 3.0, you can consider omitting that from your resume. Under the education section, you can also include relevant coursework, scholarships, and other school-related awards. Within the coursework section, some things that you can consider including are the languages that you use, or frameworks, and other methodologies that you learn. If the title of the coursework isn't clear, it might be worthwhile to include that information in parentheses. Another really important section to highlight is your skills. That's where you put the languages you know, frameworks, and other methodologies that you learned. In this section, you also include your level of proficiency. Some words that you can consider using to describe your proficiency include basic, familiar, Proficient. For the next couple of sections we'll be talking about, the order doesn't really matter too much, but you should likely prioritize the experience that is most relevant for the role. In the example, we'll go ahead and create a section for past experiences. Things that you can include in past experiences include tech-related jobs that you have, such as working at the front desk for your school's IT group. If you've ever worked as a teaching assistant or TA for one of your classes, this is also a really great time to write about that and include your impact. If you already have previous internship experience or co-ops, this is also a really great place to put those down. For all of these past experiences, be sure to include the location that these events happen, and don't forget to also include the dates that you worked there. For the roles in this section, it's important to use active verbs to showcase what you've accomplished. Be really specific with what role you had. Try to also include really concrete numbers as well. Next, a really important section to highlight if you're thinking of going into software engineering or any other type of technical role is projects. In the project section, you can include school projects that you've worked on, projects that you've worked on at hackathons, or other projects that you might have picked up along the way from extracurricular activities. In my next video, I'll also share a little bit more about how you can find projects to put on your resume. So stay tuned for that. In this section, it's really important to highlight what you individually contributed to these projects. If you're working on a school project with a partner, it's better to highlight what you specifically did and what skills that you learned and used for this project. And then another really important section is the leadership experience. In this section, you can include any leadership role you had for an extracurricular activity, and these can be things that are tech related and things that are also of your own personal interest. It's really important to highlight skills such as organization or project management and your ability to collaborate with others. These are all really important skills that engineers should all have. Find ways that you can tie back the leadership experience to something that's related to the job posting itself. If they're looking to find people who are motivated individuals, for instance, it's important to show that you had the motivation and drive to lead some initiative. And lastly, another section that you can consider including is miscellaneous awards. For instance, some other awards you can get are travel scholarships or awards to attend conferences. Another type of award that you can put includes research awards as well. And in general, make sure to know all the projects and skills that you've listed on your resume because that is fair game for the interview process afterwards. Once you've created this resume, it's important to have a lot of eyes look over it. Consider working with your career center to get some peer reviews. Some companies even offer resume reviews during the recruitment process. This is only to your benefit, so definitely consider signing up for those opportunities if they're available to you. 
Once you have your resume all polished up, it's time for you to submit it to any company that you're interested in working for. If you have any other questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. I really hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.